Ni hao, wo chao madvi. Today I will share my experience and tell you about my journey in learning Chinese dance. My passion for dance started at the age of six years. Born in a multicultural country like Mauritius, I have seen many dance forms from different cultures such as the Indian dance, the Chinese dance, ballet, salsa and the most popular one, our national Sega dance. But the one which has always fascinated me in my childhood, Chinese dance style. I still remember those days when my parents used to take me to Chinatown during festivals to show me how the Chinese people are celebrating Spring Festival with joy and performing Chinese dance on the street of Chinatown. The traditional lion dance, the fan dance, the ribbon dance would always attract me towards the Chinese dance culture. The striking red color of Chinese costumes and decorations would always leave an impact on me. I used to ask my parents why the Chinese people always use the red colors. Later, I got to know that in Chinese culture, red symbolizes luck, joy, and happiness. At school, when we used to celebrate Chinese festivals, I was the only child who would always come forward to perform Chinese dance with my Chinese dress and a small red Chinese fan in my hand. I would always try to imitate the Chinese dance steps performed by the dancers at the Chinatown. When I grew up, I started learning classical Indian dance, but despite being from a Hindu background, I found myself so connected in one way or another with the Chinese traditions. With time, I found that, that there is a common element both in Chinese and Indian classical dance. Both types of dance shows a form of gracefulness peace and harmony. One can easily narrate a story from these dance forms. The desire to learn more about Chinese culture and to explore more about Chinese dance was still ignited in me. And in this endeavor, I joined the Confucius Institute of University of Mauritius in 2017 to pursue my Mandarin course, which has ultimately triggered my curiosity to discover more and more about Chinese culture. During my journey at the Confucius Institute, I got many opportunities to perform Chinese dance. Finally, I got the right platform to realize my dreams and to explore my dancing skills in Chinese. I started learning the dance steps by watching stage performances of Chinese dancers on YouTube. Despite having got no training in Chinese dance, I succeeded to acquire some Chinese dancing skills which I displayed later in my performances. It was a great challenge for me to perform Chinese dance live on the stage. I will never forget my first and memorable dance performance for Confucius Institute in February 2018 on the occasion of Spring Festival. Inspired by the great Chinese dancer Yang Liping, I decided to perform a peacock dance on the stage. Later, I got the opportunity to participate in different events organized by the Confucius Institute. My recent performance for this year at the Confucius Institute was on the occasion of the Chinese New Year Festival. This time, I got the opportunity to bring on platform a new innovative form of Chinese Indian dance, which was greatly appreciated by the audience. 大家好，我叫马比，我是马来西亚的公鸡学员，我的英文学生。我在用中文和爱国歌曲表扬舞蹈。祝大家新年快乐，万事如意。As a person who loves China and Chinese culture so much, I'm naturally only one dream. To get the opportunity to visit China one day, to explore more of the Chinese dance culture, and to get the opportunity to learn Chinese dance from professional teachers in China. My aim is to strengthen the bond between China and Mauritius and to bring the best forms of Chinese dance culture in Mauritius, where I can get create a new innovative dance form by merging the Mauritian and the Chinese dance on a single platform. Every form of beauty has its own uniqueness. 
Precious is to appreciate other forms of beauty with openness. If beauty represents itself with diversity and integrity, the world will be blessed with harmony and unity. With this note of mine, I want to thank the Confucius Institute of the University of Mauritius for granting me such an opportunity to broaden my knowledge in Chinese culture.